AMD just announced possible launch dates for both Big Navi and Ryzen 4000. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So earlier this morning, AMD posted two different trailers over on their Twitter account, one for the RX 6000 series GPUs and the other one for their Zen 3 based Ryzen 4000 CPUs. Now these were hinted at by Frank Azor the other day and it turns out that that hint was true. And if we go ahead and take a look at first the big Navi slash RX 6000 series post and read it, it states, quote, AMD hashtag RDNA2 architecture and Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards will bring the best of Radeon to gamers worldwide. Learn more on October 28th. And if we actually take a look at this trailer, it says in the trailer, a breakthrough gaming architecture for PCs and consoles, a new journey begins October 28th. So yep, it's official. It looks like there will be some sort of launch event for the RX 6000 series graphics cards on October 28th. And you know, we don't know for sure whether or not you'll actually be able to buy them on that date. And my gut tells me is that you probably won't be able to, but they probably will be announcing a official release date for these graphics cards during that event and detailing all kinds of performance and the architecture and everything you really want to know about RDNA 2, RX 6000, and of course, Big Navi. Now the question is, is Big Navi going to be big enough? Because these RTX 3000 series graphics cards are really, really fast, at least if you look at Nvidia's numbers. In fact, they're much faster than many people were anticipating, and if AMD didn't anticipate them to be this fast, well, I think we could have a scenario where a lot of gamers are going to be disappointed because a lot of the rumors that have been going around have been suggesting that we're going to see a 80 compute unit Big Navi with much higher clocks, a big IPC jump. In fact, AMD themselves said they're targeting higher clocks and an IPC. PC jump. So if we don't get any compute units, well, yeah, a lot of people could be disappointed because I theorize that 80 compute units with that IPC jump and a clock speed jump, and if it scales perfectly, it has enough memory bandwidth, well, this big Navi could actually beat NVIDIA's RTX 3080 and possibly even their RTX 3090, though I have my doubts with the RTX 3090. And again, there's always a chance that they could deliver us essentially the full Xbox Series X silicon. And if that's the case and it's only like 60 compute units, well, I don't think we'll be seeing a graphics card from AMD that is going to be able to dethrone the RTX 3080. It probably will be more like those rumors that came out from Cortex where it's around the RTX 3070 level probably a little bit better and coming with 16 gigabytes of VRAM and you know while it would be nice to see AMD win for once either way you slice it this launch is going to be really really exciting and speaking of exciting let's go ahead and take a look at that Zen 3 trailer which has me possibly even more excited as Ryzen 4000 could be the chip that finally fully beats Intel hands down now over on their post they state quote it's going to be an exciting fall for gamers Time to start a new journey with at AMD Ryzen Zen 3 and at Radeon RDNA 2. And if we actually let their little trailer play here, they say in the trailer, a new journey begins October 8th. So this is even more exciting because not only is Ryzen 4000 a big deal, but on top of that, the fact that it's launching so soon is really, really exciting. You know what, on October 8th and October 28th, you can expect me to have live streams, so be sure to be ready because these, in my opinion, are pretty much just as exciting as the RTX 3000 series launch. So on October 8th, are we gonna actually be able to purchase Zen 3 based Ryzen 4000 series chips? Well, probably not. But again, just like with the RDNA 2 thing that's happening on October 28th, I think we can expect them to give us a firm launch date slash release date. So at that time, then yes, we will be able to purchase them. But again, during this presentation, I probably would expect to see like some performance numbers, architecture details. And remember, the rumors going around right now is that the Zen 3 chips are going to be 20% faster in IPC in the best case scenario. So if we take that into account, we can probably expect a processor that's around 15% faster in single threaded performance on average. And if that's the case, well, I think that's enough to finally dethrone Intel in terms of gaming performance, which is really, really exciting. And that means that all of you X570 and B550 and even B450 owners will be able to flash your BIOS, depending on if your actual motherboard maker does release that code. Well, then you'll be able to take that code 
update your BIOS, go ahead and slot in a Ryzen 4000 chip, and basically have the biggest, baddest gaming processor on the planet. And on top of that, if you got a 12 or 16 core processor, you'll also have the fastest multi-threading chip as well. So this is exciting because it could be a historic moment where AMD finally, for like the first time in what, 10 years or something, beats Intel hands down. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about this announcement? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.